Charles Leclerc takes pole for the Monaco GP. He was improving on his last lap anyway. But that crash seals pole position for Charles Leclerc at the Monaco GP. Could anyone have beaten him? We'll never know, but it didn't look likely. Leclerc has his second pole in a row in Monaco. Qualifying, Top 10 After that dramatic finish to the session, here's the top 10 after qualifying. 1. Charles Leclerc, Ferrari 2. Carlos Sainz, Ferrari 3. Sergio Perez, Red Bull 4. Max Verstappen, Red Bull 5. Lando Norris, McLaren 6. George Russell, Mercedes 7. Fernando Alonso, Alpine 8. Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes 9. Sebastian Vettel, Aston Martin 10. Esteban Ocon, Alpine Red Flag Perez Crashes Sergio Perez loses the rear on his flying lap and slides into the wall, prompting a yellow flag. Carlos Sainz doesn't see the flag and goes into the side of the Red Bull as he also slides around the corner. Sainz, that is typical Monaco. Despite sliding into the back of Perez's crashed Red Bull at the end of Q3, Carlos Sainz is feeling confident that his car can compete in tomorrow's GP. Perez crashed in front of me and I was on my flying lap. I saw the yellow flag coming into turn 8, I had to hit the brakes and try to avoid him the best I could. It is a shame another red flag costing us the end of the session so that we cannot go for pole position but that is typical Monaco. We thought we had really good pace all day and we were just building it up for quali. We will never know and it is impossible to say but I was feeling good. Let's finish the job tomorrow, I think we are in a good position to get a result for the team, the car has been amazing all weekend so we will go for it. Leclerc takes majestic pole on home turf in Monaco as bizarre signs Perez crash brings early end to qualifying. Charles Leclerc put in a dominant display at home to take pole position for the 2022 Monaco Grand Prix, his sensational lap-keeping team made Carlos Sainz at bay by 0.225s on Saturday, a red flag stopping proceedings early. This all-important qualifying session, given how essential a front-row start is at Monaco, saw Leclerc top Q1, Q2 and Q3 on the way to take Ferrari's 12th pole position in the Principality with a sensational time of 1 minute and 11.376 seconds.